Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have another bush trip that we're going to be doing today, or starting, and it's by Perfect Flight, and it's called The Grapes of Wrath, which is uh, by the book uh, Route 66 Adventure, which is uh, by the book uh, John Steinbeck. So what we're going to be doing is following the route that the uh, Job family had followed going out from uh, Salisaw, Oklahoma to Bakersfield, California. So it should be an interesting trip. I don't know how much we're really going to be able to get the feel for the Job family, but we'll certainly get the feel for flying along Route 66. So I am going to click on... Now you'll notice that I have already completed leg one. I'm going to fly that again now. Uh, I had some difficulties getting things set up, so we're going to go ahead and just do this flight again. And so uh, one of the things that's a little bit different about this one versus the last one I did is this one is going from a cold start. So we're going to get started here, see if we can't get up into the air, uh, we'll get things set, and then when we land, we're going to have to park and actually completely shut the aircraft down in order to get the leg com to complete. So let's get started. Once I am over into the cockpit, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I am in the cockpit. I have the plane running, uh, started up. Uh, I've got my altitude uh, set. We're going to fly at uh, 1,700 foot elevation which is a nice level or where we can see a lot of the countryside and that we can then follow along the river. We'll be able to follow uh, I-40 uh, westward. So what we're going to do is taxi out and once I, uh, well, as I get taxied out there, uh, I also set the weather to clear skies just so that we would be able to uh, kind of enjoy the scenery as we're going along. So I think I am ready to uh, taxi out. Uh, it's a little tricky here. I guess it really doesn't matter. I've kind of done this. So let's uh, uh, hit the brake here. Turn that off. We're going to turn. And uh, see if we can get out of here without running into anything. So we're going to head down, taxi out, so far so good. Yeah, I was, uh, I've recorded this once, so I'm recording it again uh, to get a little better feel for it. It seemed that uh, uh, this particular bush trip, you've got to start everything up and then shut everything completely down for it for the leg to complete. And I kind of struggled with that uh, with that first recording. So that's why we're doing it again, just so that we can have a little bit better complete recording. So that we'll see that leg one is completed. All right, so we're going to kind of cruise right on down here if we can get out uh, let's get the, out onto the runway and we'll take off and get started once we get started I'm not going to do much talking uh, actually very little I'm going to let the narrator do all the talking all right so here we are uh, let's set our flaps and let's do a run up Yeah, I know the parking brake is engaged. I do that so that we can get that. All right, so let's uh, kick off the brake. All right, we're going to take off, and the narration should start here pretty quick. Actually, if we do this...
takeoff, make a left turn. The flight instructions are very simple. Until otherwise indicated, follow Interstate 40 West. Arkansas River is one of the major waterways in the United States. It played a crucial role in the development of the Midwest and Native Americans inhabited its banks for millennia before the arrival of Europeans. The river is named after the Quapaw tribe, which the French called Arkansas. Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto was the first European to see the river in 1541. Later it became an important transportation route for settlers and traders, contributing to the westward expansion of the United States in the 19th century. The Arkansas River is the sixth longest river in North America, with a length of about 2,364 kilometers. It originates in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, flows through Kansas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas before flowing into the Mississippi River. The system of dams and reservoirs along the river not only provides water for irrigation and generates electricity, but also helps control floods protecting riparian communities. Okay, that's the uh, river right there. And I got my uh, autopilot set, and so we're getting up to speed. So let's uh, kick back and enjoy the ride. I will mention too that uh, we are going to be f flying with delivery of uh, Priority Air Charter. So a uh, really nice uh, design. And so it's uh, kind of a nice uh, looking uh, aircraft. And we're in the 208 uh, Grand Caravan and we'll get back here. So enjoy the uh, flight. Chakota is a small but charming town in eastern Oklahoma. Founded in 1872 as a railroad station on the Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railroad line, the town was named after Samuel Chakot, a chief of the Creek tribe. The city grew rapidly through the railroad and agriculture, becoming an important center for the cotton and cattle trade. Chakota is also home to the Honey Springs Battlefield, the site of the largest civil war battle fought in Indian Territory. This historic site offers a unique window into the complex history of the region during that turbulent period.
for about 7 miles and view on your left, you fall a lake. The largest lake entirely contained within Oklahoma's borders created in 1964 with the completion of Eufaula Dam on the Canadian River, a project of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Its primary purpose was flood control, but the lake quickly took on multiple vital roles for the region. Observe the many inlets and bays that characterize the lake's rugged shoreline. These areas provide quiet refuges for wildlife and are popular with fishermen and boaters. Henrietta is a relatively young community. It was founded in the early 20th century during Oklahoma's expansion period, shortly after the territory became a state in 1907. The name Henrietta probably derives from that of an early settler or family member of a founder, but precise details are uncertain. Henrietta is positioned in an area rich in Native American history. The area was part of Creek Nation territory before the formation of the state of Oklahoma, and this cultural heritage is still present in the region. Right, I think we are uh, getting close to uh, Henrietta Muni. Uh, we're going to be turning left right up here. So I'm going get, to start getting the uh, cockpit ready to land. And I'm going to minimize this. So we need to put down a flap. this point I'm going to take it off of autopilot navigation and turn that off and we can start uh, getting prepared she's going to come up and just tell us to make a left turn for the airport which uh, should be Turn taking. left and prepare to land at Henrietta Municipal Airport. There we go. So once we get landed, and then we can get this thing parked. Back off a little bit here, the airport. We should see it. Where is it? 500. There it is over there. A 
back off on the throttle just a little bit. Start swinging around now. to headlights course northwest to find interstate 40 again okima was founded in 1902 on land that once belonged to the creek nation the name okima comes from a creek chief okima yohola known for his wisdom and leadership okima is located in central oklahoma about 70 miles east of oklahoma city the city is situated in a transitional area between prairies and forested hills, offering a varied and picturesque landscape. Okima is famous for being the birthplace of Woody Guthrie, the legendary American folk singer-songwriter. All right, I think that is the first narration of our leg number two, so we should get that again when we do our uh, second leg. So we're going to pull in here. I am going to... Turn this thing around right here. We're gonna park this thing. I don't know how it's going to... Can we get all the way around? I wanna get this thing turned a little bit. And just park right here. All right. Set the brake. Yeah, I'm not sure where they're going to start us on leg number two but we need to shut this completely down bring this down do the cut off and then we need to turn this stuff off that off that off turn that off and there we go leg completed all right so this is where we will take off on our next uh, leg is from uh, right here at Henrietta Airport which will take us on to let's see looking at my chart over here uh, our next one is going to be to Wiley Post, KPWA. So I'm not sure. Uh, I think it looks like a fairly larger airport than Henrietta here. So it should be interesting. All right. Well, we're going to uh, leave it as is right here. So all you uh, pilots out there, uh, sim pilots, if you uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. Okay, sim pilots, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.